Hello, my name is Hello. My name is Sydney and I'll be attending medical school fall 2020. Yay, you're applying to medical school. Making that bread, or more like kneading that dough so you can metaphorically eat that bread eight plus years from now. So in today's video, I'm going to share my personal application timeline as well as the master medical school Excel I use to create my medical school list and keep track of primaries, secondaries, letter of recommendations, interview invites, and everything basically associated with applying to medical school. Timestamps of each specific section will be listed in the description below. Without any further ado, let's begin. The AMCA's application timeline. I'm just gonna pull my laptop right here. I will split the screen and just put up the general application timeline based off of the previous cycle since I'm also going to explain my personal timeline. So last year, the AMCA's primary application opened May 1st, 2019. So you are able to log in and input your information and just work on your application. The earliest date you were able to submit was May 30th, 2019. What also fell within this range is the CASPER exam and CASPER stands for Computer Based Assessment for Sampling Personal Characteristics. According to a quick Google search, it is a situational judgment test that presents test takers with a series of realistic hypothetical scenarios and asks them to type out what they would do if they were in a particular situation. I believe this came out two years ago, but as the years go on, I can just anticipate this being more regularly expected from medical school applicants. Just looking at their site last year, the open window that you could have taken Taken. The CASPER exam was anytime between May 2019 and December 2019. I personally would recommend to take the CASPER exam after submitting your primaries, but before the whole secondary essay season starts mid to later June 2019. The date you actually take the CASPER exam, there might be some weeks before it actually gets processed and distributed to the specific schools that you're applying to. Speaking of June, you can submit your primary application anytime in June. I would recommend somewhere between the first two weeks of June as soon as possible without compromising the quality since the whole application cycle is based off of a rolling basis. So for you to proceed on to the next step kind of depends on when you sent in the step prior. Usually if you submit your application sooner, it takes less time, two to four weeks for AMCAs to verify your application. And verification is basically them going through all the information that you inputted just to cross check that your academic transcript and the classes that you manually entered are correct and consistent. June 2019, I would have all of your letter of recommendations submitted to your AMPLUS application. From June 2019, honestly up until how fast you write, you would work on secondary applications, so all the essays associated with each school. Starting August 2019, up until February 2020, there might be some straggler interviews in March, but that's when interview season and potential acceptances start rolling through. April April 15th, 2020 is when you can hold on to no more than three acceptances. Around this time, people potentially get off wait lists. April 30th, 2020 is when you can only hold on to one acceptance. From April 2020 until May 2020, there are second look activities. A weekend where you can fly back to certain schools or you may be considering just to get a second look to see if that's the best fit for you. Starting July 2020, which is on the earlier end, through September 2020 is when you would begin your medical school program. In terms of a specific application timeline, I'm going to share what kind of happened to me during my process. June 12th, 2019, I submitted my primary application. July 2nd, 2019, my AMCAS application was verified. So you could see it took about three to four weeks for the whole process. July 5th, 2019, I received my first secondary invitation, which was New York Medical College. It's funny because I kind of held off on doing that since I wanted to mentally prepare myself for writing an essay. I don't know, but when I looked further into the secondary application, there actually was no secondary essays. On July 12th, 2019, a little bit late, but I submitted my last letter of recommendation, which was kind of a last minute addition since I participated in a program and I was like, whoa, I really enjoyed this experience. The director, I feel like really liked me. Let me just shoot my shot and see if she would be willing to write a letter of rec, and she was. On July 18th, 2019, I took my CASPER exam. August 7th, 2019 is when my CASPER exam was graded 
and distributed. On August 15th, 2019, I received my first interview invitation. I remember I was in a doctor's office and it was kind of quiet solemn and sterile there so when i received it instantly i like did not react externally but i screenshotted it and i sent it to my friend who went to that school just to share like oh yo look what happened outside i was very stoic this is probably what it looked like August 18th, I submitted my last secondary. On August 28th, I received my first medical school rejection. October 7th, I completed my first medical school interview. November 7th, 2019, I received my first medical school acceptance. April 2nd, 2020 was supposed to be my second look weekend of the program I'm pretty sure I'm going to commit to, but in lieu of recent events with coronavirus, it was canceled. My program will officially start September 2020. Don't know if it's going to be online, but regardless, I'm very excited to start this new chapter. So that oh, <laughs> concludes everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.